Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to hex edit TeamSpeak. The first thing you need to do is download a uh, hex editor. I have Hex Workshop 4.2, which I strongly recommend. Second thing is you have to open your exe, TeamSpeak.exe, wherever you install it. I have uh, TeamSpeak running right now, you shouldn't. I just have the official one that I added my own. So I'm going to get the official one. It's not really edited right now. Okay. Uh, when you open it, you'll see a bunch of numbers and uh, letters and stuff over here on the right side. Numbers you don't really have to worry about right now. Uh, with Hex, edit, uh, Hex Workshop, it's really the only one, one of the only ones I could find with the find feature, believe it or not. I don't know why, but they didn't incorporate the find feature in a lot of them. So you want to search for text string. If you have the uh, default one, or if you got your from your uh, yours from like virus or something, you can edit it from there too. But uh, let's say you want to change your welcome message, you would search for welcome. Uh, here it says welcome to ODS. I already renamed mine, but it would say welcome to Teamspeak. So you, uh, one major thing is you cannot delete anything. You have to include periods where you didn't type anything or spaces. So in this part I'm going to name it to welcome to my team speak and ha it just happened to take up all the spaces okay uh, now you let's say you want to change your client platform uh, mine is currently named chess okay this originally said Windows XP. You want to change whichever one you're running on. So let's say you're running on Windows 2000 or Windows NT. You just delete the one that you want to change. Or not delete it, just overwrite it. So let's say I want to change this. Uh, I'll change it to... Uh, I like... Uh, TS, TS, S. Or I could just do this. I like TS. Period, period, period. Okay. Alright, next thing you let's see you wanna change your let's see what I've done so far. Platform name is uh what did I name it? I forget. I renamed it, but I forget what I renamed it to. Hold on. Let's find it first. Oh yeah, I remember what I renamed it to. Oh, actually, yeah, virus. Alright, here it says crack by virus. Now, uh, I downloaded this from someone else and then fi finally figured out how to hex that at TeamSpeak, so I still have it, so I need to delete it. But uh, that's what he related it to. Usually, this would say TeamSpeak 2. So, let's see, I want to change it. Let's change it to. Uh, this is my. TS and then period 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 or space 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 whatever you want to do alright that's pretty much uh, I know how to you can edit like um, you know the help the stuff in the help section uh, but I'll do that in another tutorial so uh, now you uh, see if it will run you just uh, save uh, you can make a backup just in case you messed up something uh, I'm gonna make one that's probably, I don't know why, mine always does this, but it still worked. So, I need to get one, a new one, probably something upgraded since then or something. But, okay. Now, you want to run it? Actually worked. Welcome to my team speak is when I named it. This is my TS. Yeah, I should have added spaces. Right now it has dots and periods, but, and... Client platform, let's see if that works. Right click on your name, get connection info. I like TS. Dot dot dot. Just, uh, you can, you know, add spaces so the dots aren't there, but. Okay. Uh, this, I hope you like my tutorial on how to hex at a TeamSpeak. Uh, to get multiple team speaks, uh, I have no idea how to hex it, so if someone can let me know. I already know how to, I already have, I downloaded my own from Virus, 
and I can uh, run, you know, multiple ones. TeamSpeak 3 is coming out hopefully soon, so. See, I'm just opening a new one after new one after new one, but, uh. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching my tutorial, and, uh, I hope you enjoyed.